So in this section, we're going to start talking about the wage gap some more, and we're going to specifically look at human capital. Okay. And so just to give you an overview of how the next few weeks are going to go, we're going to start by looking at the supply side. So the supply side is all the factors that the worker brings to the labor market. So these, these are there uh, before the worker is in the labor market. So these are things like education, experience, also includes what kind of jobs they want, which we call their preferences, um, about like job conditions, working hours, type of work, etc. Also includes things like work ethic. Now work ethic is notoriously uh, difficult to measure, so for the most part we won't be talking about that, but this is something that is on the side of the, of the worker. Um, and these, these factors are all influenced by society. So um, even though we're going to kind of take them as given, it's definitely true that they, that they may be um, influenced by like uh, social norms, social perceptions, and there also might be uh, what we call pre-market racial or gender discrimination, which affects these. Okay. So for example, if there's um, discrimination going on in the schooling system, then this will affect education. If there was discrimination going on in the labor market in the past, then this might expect, uh, affect exp experience. Um, so for example, um, so we're going to, uh, but, but the key part about this is um, these are the things that the workers currently have. And so um, this, we can kind of differentiate this from, from kind of discrimination or other things that are going on inside of the of the demand. So let's go and look at that part. Okay, so the demand side is where we're going to look at um, it, are the firms discriminating? Is there things going on inside the firms that are not treating people um, equally? And so we're going to reserve our idea of labor and our institution for a specific situation. Let me read it. So two people who are equal in terms of qualifications and productivity are treated differently on the basis of gender or race or something else. Okay, it could be age or disability or some other kind of thing. Okay, so this is the economist's definition of labor market discrimination. Um, it's a little different than the than some of the definitions that people kind of use in common language. Sometimes people uh, um, sort of mix the idea of uh, pre-market discrimination and labor market discrimination together. Um, the reason why I think it's important to differentiate these two is because uh, we need to accurately um, identify the, the problem, what, pro what problems or barriers there are if we're going to tackle those problems. Okay, So we want to differentiate clearly which one is going on. So over the next few weeks, we'll be tackling this plan. 